welcome to The Proper Pineapple, a podcast about knitting and crocheting. Sometimes sewing, a couple other things get thrown in there on occasion, but it's mostly knitting and crocheting. I am Holly, and you can find me anywhere on the internet pretty much at The Proper Pineapple. Facebook, Instagram, The Proper Pineapple, thepropperpineapple.com is my website. You can email me at thepropperpineapple at gmail.com. And on Ravelry, I am Ms. Proper Pineapple. You can find the links to everywhere you can find me down below in the description box. So if you're looking for me, you can find me there. Um, hey to all my returning pineapple people. I just adore you guys. This episode is entitled A Series of Unfortunate Events <laughs> because I have been trying to podcast and work on stuff for over a week and I couldn't get it done because every time I turned around, something bad kept happening. It started a couple Sundays ago when we left church. We went to Walmart. I had on my nice church clothes and I had my sandals on and my daughter had cowboy boots on, which is fine. We love it, right? And I was walking and she stopped in front of me and I kind of kicked her with my left foot in the boot. And I was like, ow, instantly my big toe hurt. But I was like, you know, whatever, I just stubbed my toe, right? So we keep walking around this store and my toe starts hurting worse and worse and worse and finally I look down and it's kind of starting to bleed and I'm like oh that's weird and I reached down I had broke off the nail way back like in the middle of my toenail the big toenail so we hurry up and leave so I can get home and get it fixed so that was unfortunate event number one number two came a few days later when I was knitting on my sweater which I'll talk about and show you in a minute and I laid my project in the bag on my bed here my pillows are all uneven whatever it's fine uh and I went out to do something and one of my kids came in I don't know which one but one of my kids came in and sat on my project bag and snapped my bamboo knitting needle in half <laughs> and unfortunately it's the only one I had in that size so my project is on hold until I get another one that was unfortunate event number two unfortunate event number three came about four days after that when we were laying here on our bed with our dog penny um our cat frankie does not like penny i don't know why anyways well we were laying on the bed and frankie chased penny in here well penny ran up i was over here my hubby's over here ran up onto my husband and i turned as frankie came around and up over me and she scratched up three of my fingers really bad where i couldn't crochet or knit i had them like all bandaged up I couldn't do anything it hurt so like for four days I had to just sit because my hands were burning from the kitty cat but you know it's funny so that was number three then the next time we were at church we were leaving and I went to get into our car and our car is a little older so it has a little bit of rust on the bottom like you know whatever and I step up into the car and I scratched my right big toe on the rust and got a big cut on my toe there and I was like really really guys you gotta be kidding me like another sad thing has happened to me and then I thought it was all done I thought that was it and I'm just gonna podcast and that's gonna be all the quirky I have for my show and that is it and that's not true I got a new thing to organize my crochet hooks which I will show you later and I was putting one of my handmade hooks by Nelson Woods in there and I snapped a little piece off it's okay though it was a little butt end and so we were able to just glue it back on so it's okay if it would have been a tip or something I would have uh sent it back to him to fix it because I would have wanted it sturdy but it's fine it's okay you guys pray for me that the unfortunate events are all done and we can get on with our normal happy lives okay guys so first I'm gonna get into uh, my whips and finished objects and all that then when we get done with that I have some winners to announce from last month I said in my last podcast my necklace is bothering me oh there we go that's better I said in my next podcast that or my last podcast <sighs> frazzled y'all <laughs> that I would announce a couple of winners for our members only if you don't know what that is here on YouTube you can become a member it's kind of like um Patreon but you do it here on YouTube instead of going to Patreon and um I was going to announce a winner or two for that. So that will be done at the end. Okay, guys? So let's get on. I have one finished object to share. Uh, if you watched my last video, you know I was having a ton of fun with my Centro knitting machine hat maker sort of thingy. And I had one more hat I didn't show. I said I would show it here. It is this one. See? And then it is reversible still. 
Oop, let me turn it this way, looks like that. So you can roll up the rim, you have like that, or my son who helped make this, my oldest monkey, he likes it this way. So it's a cute little hat. I love it. This was a Karen Big Cake from forever and a day ago. I have no idea what the name is. He's had it forever. Greens are his favorite colors. But I love it. This one turned out perfect. Absolutely love this hat. So that will go in the gift knitting pile. Got to figure out what we're doing it. Okay, so let's start with the project I was telling you guys about. So it is the Lounging Top by Hohi Locatelli. I'll put that right, right there, right over here. I don't really know. The camera's all silly. And I am making it with Breaking Yarns colorway breaking princess and i'm sorry my cakes are getting all messed up and this is it isn't it pretty oh it's totally me so love it you guys should definitely check her out i love her well i have got i was like two inches from the bottom so this is the top down here because you knit from the top down i was two inches from putting my border on look at how pretty this is you guys i'm so excited and this happened see do you see that do you see the broken needle. I'm so sad about the broken needle. <laughs> it's okay though. These were uh, gifted to me. They weren't that expensive, so it's okay. I will just get another pair when I get a chance. I just have to get out to the town that has them. So, but let me hold it right side up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so close to being done. I would have been done. This would have been a finished object video, but karma <laughs> or unfortunate events like I said before and I am keeping it in one of my me made bags that has space unicorns on it because I love this bag <laughs> it's got space unicorns okay so then I was really sad and I was like well that's okay because I have a design I want to work on and I'm gonna show you the design in a minute I'm gonna show you something else first and unfortunately then came the cat scratches and I couldn't do anything well, I found it was easier to knit after a few days than it was to crochet. So I started a new project. Let me get this out of the cake because you know what? I don't remember the name of this yarn company. This yarn was gifted to me by my best friend Al forever ago. I don't even remember when. Sorry, guys. It's called Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns. So pretty. And this is the color Witch's Brew which is brew. And it is a 7525 superwash merino nylon, 463 yards, 200 grams. And what I, I'm on a cowl kick. So I found a pattern. It is totally free. So you can check it out. It's called froth, froth, froth milk. I put it on the screen. I cannot say it. And this is the colorway I'm using. It was kind of Halloweeny. And when she gave me this skinny yarn, I was like, it's so pretty. It's colors I love, right? The pink and the green and the grays and the black. I was like, I love it, right? But then I was like, what am I going to use it in? I just, I kept drawing a blank. I had no idea what to do with this. And then I was like, you know what? Find one of those one skein cowls and just be done with it. So I did just that. I'm trying to see what size needles these are, you guys. <laughs> I will might have to write it down below. These are my Chow Goose Red Lace needles. I don't remember what size. I'll put it here on the screen. And it's a free pattern, and I've just started it, a little bit of the cowl. So it's a rolled rim cowl, so you don't do a, a binding. And then basically what you do is, I'm not going to give it away, give it away, but basically there's some yarn over details. Let me see if I can hold that up. Do you see like the holes, little bitty holes like right here, right there. Just some yarn over details to make it interesting. And I thought this would be a great thing to work on right now coming into the holiday season of Halloween, I thought that would be, hopefully I'll get it done and I could just wear it because I'm really loving the idea of cowls right now. So super excited to finally use this yarn. I am keeping it in one of these little pouches by Namaste. Uh, it's a Jimmy Beans thing. I don't know, I got it forever ago and I just had it so I threw it in there. Now to talk about, because finally my fingers got it feeling better. I'm adjusting my pillow there. Oh, there we go. Finally, my fingers got feeling better to where I could crochet. And I started a project. Okay. So this is going to be a new design. It's a cowl that I'm designing. And it all started 
last year in August at the Michigan Fiber Festival. I'm walking around the Michigan Fiber Festival with Al, trying to find new yarn dyers to me because, you know, I love checking out new people. And we found a booth called Cornbread and Honey. I'm going to show you her tag in a second. And uh, the first thing that caught my eye was this ridiculous neon scheme with black. I think it's right up there, but you can't, maybe it's, no. It's up there somewhere, it's backwards, so all you see is the black end, you don't see all the neons. And I run into her booth, because I'm like, oh, that is so me. And then I turn and look, and I find these two colors that I am so in love with. Okay, so let me remember what the second color's name was. Oh, yeah, okay, well, the first color. So the first color I'm using, let me show you her tag. This is her tag, Cornbread and Honey. You should find her on Instagram. I believe she has an Etsy. If not, if you go to Instagram, she'll link her shop. This first color I found was so pretty, and it is called, I'm so sorry, Autumn Fires. Isn't that pretty, you guys? It's like burnt oranges with creams and some browns and some blacks in there. So love it. So this one is called Autumn Fire. And then the second color that will be used is called Embers. Isn't that pretty? I'm, this, my skein winder, ball winder, whatever you want to call it, got totally messed up. So these cakes look horrible. But the yarn is beautiful. Isn't that going to be gorgeous together? So this is going to be a two-color cowl. It is crocheted. So I have started just a little bit of it, you guys. Just a little bit. A little sneak peeky. I'm calling this the Emberly Cowl. So that will be right down here. Hashtag Emberly Cowl. And I hope to have this out soon. I have already kind of written it all up and, and doing all that. I'm just kind of making my final prototype here. So that's what we're doing. Isn't that pretty? So this is that Autumn Fires colorway with the oranges and the creams and stuff. It's so pretty. So stay tuned for this. I think it's going to be beautiful. And it, hopefully I'll get it done soon. So, cause I know like you guys are getting colder weather sooner than I am. Cause I am here in Northeast Texas. It's so hot, you guys. It's like 80 some degrees today. And that's a cold day. Everybody in Texas is like, oh, it's such a cold day. It's a hot day. All right. Anyways, I have it in one of my me made bags too. This is one of my ones from fall last year that I love so much. I was able to get myself one of those. That's all I'm working on right now. Um, because of all of the unfortunate events that happened to me. It just ended up that way. But I'm going to get going on some more projects. I wanna finish some of my old whips and start my new projects and do my new designs and do all of that. Um, I am, I told you guys last time I'm working on a doll. I am still working on a doll. I'm actually working on two dolls. <laughs> Cause you know me, once I start one, I do two. Um, there's just not anything to show right now. I've got like a head and you know neck and stuff. Nothing like, ooh, that's interesting. Um, why don't I show you what I got in the mail and then, and what I bought, and then I will talk winners for the members only giveaway, okay? Okay, so I bought, so I announced a members only giveaway last month and I didn't really have anything to give away yet. And Hobby Lobby was having a sale on yarn and I picked up just a few things for the giveaway. And while I was at it, I grabbed me two skeins of this Yarn Bee Delicious Boutique in the color, Pomegranate pudding. Blech. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. <laughs> pomegranate pudding. I don't like pomegranates, you guys. But anyways, uh, it is 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca. It is 590 yards. And I got me, this is that pomegranate pudding. And I got me two of them. I don't know. I think I'm going to make some sort of a uh, prayer shawl or prayer wrap or something to go in my prayer shawl ministry that I've got going right now. Right now, I just have one in there waiting for somebody to need it. And I'd like to have a whole little stack. So, because the last time somebody needed one, I didn't have one finished. So, anyways, gotta get cracking on that. That is the only thing about, well, I bought some other stuff, but you're gonna see it because it's surprises for the giveaway. Oh, and I bought one more thing I'm gonna show you, but. First, I want to show you what one of my amazing pineapple people sent me. So amazing. Is the card still in here? It should be. Here it is. It's an adorable little card. You guys, the card was so cute. Look at it. It's got a little butterfly on it. It's so cute. So this is from Barbara Schwarzentruber. I think I said it correctly. She was a winner of one of my birthday giveaways, and I kind of thought she was like a robot because Schwarzentruber was a hard name. 
but she won some yarn for me and she made me something with one of the skeins. She also sent me, let me see if I can get this good turned around. She sent me a couple pineapple stitch markers. I can always use stitch markers. My kids take them. She sent me a sock knitting pattern and a pattern for this adorable little sweater. Isn't that cute? Okay, now let me show you what she made me. I don't know if she used the pattern or anything like that. Um, let me let me read the card. She might have said, but I've read the card before and I was like, I don't know. Uh, nope, she doesn't say. She made me this adorable little shawl. This is made out of Red Heart uh, It's a Wrap Rainbow. I can't remember the color, but she had won two skeins of it. And she made me this gorgeous, look at this little shawlette. Isn't this beautiful, you guys? I opened this and I was kind of having a bad day. I've had quite a few bad days lately, as told by the series of unfortunate events. And when I opened this and saw that Barbara had taken time to make this for me, oh my gosh, you guys, it just, it made me cry. I did, you can ask my husband, I cried a little bit because it was so sweet. I just, it's so nice knowing that people out there care about me. It's so nice of you, Barbara. I will definitely be wearing this soon. I was saving it to show everybody. I love it so much. It's so, so pretty. Oh, thank you so much, Barbara. You are such a sweetheart. This is going to be a cherished possession. I love it. The way it turned out is so pretty. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. The last thing I bought was to organize my crochet hooks. And I'm just going to kind of give you a quick show of it. Um, over on Instagram, there is a video being posted today, too, that will like talk more in depth. But here we go. So I bought this. This is a colored pencil holder and it is perfect for holding. If you have big fat hooks like I do, look at that. Because it has these little stretchy bands that you're supposed to put three colored pencils in. And it has lots of pages for lots of hooks. There's hooks everywhere, you guys. Um, and I actually had to do a little modification to mine, but you can hear all about that over my Instagram TV video. It's so amazing. I love it. Everything stays right in here. Look at where the handle go. There it is. Boom. It's just like that. And it's got a zipper pocket on the back and a pocket on the front. And look at the kitties, you guys. So um, this one here is my stitches. <laughs> this one is the naked cat I want. I want this bobtail. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. I want this. I want them all, you guys. I want all the cats. Isn't it amazing? Now, this is by, I forget the brand, but there is a couple different brands of color pencil case holders that they sell. I bought this on Amazon and I have an Amazon affiliate link down below and you can go to it. Um, and there are links to quite a few different pattern ones. If you would like to get something like this to hold your hooks, I do make a commission. It doesn't come out. It's not, you don't get charged extra. It just comes out of them. So if you want to use it, fine. If not, I would search um, colored pencil holders and then look for the big ones that hold at least 202 colored pencils. I love this so much, you guys. So that is linked down below. Go do that, okay? I love it. It's great. Oh, and yeah, just great. All right, so let's get on to the giveaway. I want to make this kind of a short podcast, you guys. It's hot in here. I told you I got to turn my ear off. It's really loud. So August, I said I was going to have a giveaway. Nobody had to do anything. If you were a member of the channel, not just a subscriber, but a member, you are a paid member of this channel, you were entered to win. So I took all the names of my paid winners and I put them into a little thing, and it gave me two, because I picked two winners. So the first winner, let me get everything the first winner is going to win. I have it written down over there. But So first off, you get this adorable little notebook with hearts on it little notebook so cute this adorable little no drama llama change purse or stitch marker holder whatever you want to use it for and two of the yarn be delish boutiques in the color love and licorice i thought this one was pretty actually my husband picked this one because you guys know i go for the pinks but he thought you guys might like this dark it's kind of like sage greens and dark greens and grays i know it looks black but it's more of a green color it's green so that is our first winner, and the winner is Becky Murray. Your name is here at the bottom of the screen. Congratulations, Becky. Um, I'm going to show the second prize, and then I'll tell you guys how to get a hold of me. So the second winner, because I said I was going to pick two. 
gets this little notebook. Ooh, tell pretty. Love that one. And this little change purse thing that says sunshine. I love it so much with a little cactus. It's so cute. And two of the Yarn Bee Delish Boutiques in the color Plum Bunny. Here it is. This one's so pretty. Like beiges and baby pinks and purples. So, so pretty. And the winner of those two goes to Kim's Crochet and Knits. I have to look. It's at the bottom of the screen. Now, you two can email me your information. Uh, you can Instagram it to me. Facebook Messenger through the proper pineapple. Give me your information. Um, and uh, this stuff will probably go out in the mail, mail in the next week or so. Okay, because I want to give everybody time to contact me. Now, for my members, I also want to have a giveaway for next month. So before I show you what will be the giveaway, because this time I actually took time, went out to my stash of giveaway stuff and pulled stuff out. Because I was like, I don't know if I have anything. Turns out I did. So, this next giveaway, again, is for my members only. If you are not a member of the channel, all you have to do is become a member if you would like. Um, down below, right next to the proper panel, let's say join. You join and you pay monthly, a one-time fee. You have access to all the giveaways and access to our Facebook group, amongst other things. So, if you want to join, that's fine. You don't have to do anything else. I have all the information of my winner or my members. I put it all into the random thing and pick. You don't have to do anything. No comments or nothing. Just be a member. Eh, my pearls are bugging me because it's getting hot. So, I have had, I bought these a while ago. I totally forgot about them. They're Burnett Pop in the color Lipstick on Your Collar. There we go. And I've got two of them. Two of these beautiful. They are a worsted weight and they are... So tell me how much yardage you get. Um, 280 yards of ball. So you get two of those. You get these two. You also get an adorable little notebook that says my favorite color is rainbow who doesn't love a good rainbow and then this one of my last little change purses here has pink flamingos and it says summer so that will be september's giveaway so everybody if you're a member you have a chance to win these i'm super excited about that because i forgot i had them and i'm super excited to give them to you guys also um i think would you guys be open everybody not just the members, open to doing a fall shawl cal. I'm kind of thinking of doing one in October. You'd be able to do whatever shawl you want. Um, if you are interested, comment down below, let me know, and then I will set that up. We'll do a cal in October. We'll call it fall shawl or fall shawl cal or something like that, and we will have a giveaway, and we'll figure that all out. So comment down below if you guys are in on that, and I will make it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I've got some stuff in the works right now, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. And that new pattern, the Emberly shawl, or Emberly cowl, should be done very, very soon. I think you guys are going to love it. It is a fingering weight, uh, so you can use hand-dyed fingering weight yarn. If you do not want to do that, it's too pricey. Michaels has a fingering weight yarn called Wool Like that is really nice. I've used it quite a few times. Um, Hobby Lobby now has quite a few fingering weights. It calls for two colors, but you could use like, these are Hobby Lobby cakes. You could use one of those and just go. You could do whatever you wanted. Uh, you could go up into worse than whatever and just adjust the size as far as count. It will be kind, kind of adjustable. So that will be easy. Okay, guys, I got to get out of here. So much to do. And now that my fingers are all healed, I can get back to crocheting and knitting a lot faster. So... I love you all and I will see you all later.